Hi there, I'm Dale Rebhorn. I'm here with the Blue Apron Ramen Cooking episode. But before I get started on the actual cooking, just five key things about guys in the kitchen. I think guys should be in the kitchen a lot more than most of them are. And I'll give you five good reasons why. Number one, it's a heck of a lot of fun. When you come home from work, you've been on conference calls, you've been dealing with problems, you come home, get your hands dirty, do some chopping on the chopping board, make some good food for your family. That's a really good feeling and a whole lot different from work, so it's a nice break. Number two, you can cook what you like. If you like Japanese, then you can cook Japanese. If you like Italian, you can cook Italian. I like them both, so I'm pretty happy. Number three, it's awfully healthy. Rather than going and getting some fast food meal, lots of calories, lots of fat, you can come make some vegetables, some fruit, make something really healthy for you and your family. It's a really great way to be spending time with your loved ones. Number four, your wife will love you. I've been doing this for 20 years and it's been just great. I do the cooking, she usually does the cleaning. It's a really good uh, teamwork episode that we have going on and she really likes it. She likes the cooking and of course that's when you have a happy wife, you have a happy life. And number five, you get to play with big knives. And it doesn't every guy like a big knife. I've got a whole collection of big knives that I can play with while I'm cooking. So it's a lot of fun. I hope that you'll join me in the kitchen. Now let's take a look at cooking some food. So we're back. We've got all our ingredients laid out. We've got all our knives over here. I'm not really going to use them all, but it's fun to have them out. Um, We've got some scallions, we've got some choy sum, we've got some enoki mushrooms. I've never used this one before, but I certainly have used the mushrooms and scallions you use pretty much every day. And a little bit of ginger, we're going to chop that. One thing that everybody gets intimidated by is all the chopping, and when you're cooking fresh ingredients, you have to do some chopping. So knife skills are fairly essential. I've already pre-washed everything, so we're just going to do some chopping. So as you can see, I've already chopped up my choy sum. That's a new one for me. The scallions I'm still working on, and I'm keeping my fingers behind the blade curled up. I've noticed a lot of people in videos, um, other videos, where they've kind of got their fingers like this, and the knives are very sharp. So I can whip through this in just a couple minutes, get those scallions taken care of. The enoki mushrooms are pretty tasty, but I'm just going to cut off the roots of those. That makes it easy. We'll just discard that because those aren't very tasty, so we'll get rid of those. We're back at the uh, kitchen. We're getting ready to put the meat in. Um, uh, the induction stove that I have heats up really nicely, and uh, cast iron cookware is beautiful. It keeps a wonderful heat on this, so it's a really great combination. In this case, I already preheated it, so it's nice and warm now. I've got it on about a medium, a little bit above a medium. I'll put a couple teaspoons of olive oil in there. I've got my flag steak salt and pepper ready to go. We're going to put that in for uh, just enough time to get it kind of a nice medium, medium rare uh, to add later on into our, our, our lovely ramen. So let's get that going. Ah, sounds good, doesn't it? We're now going in here. I'm going to flip the meat around. The timer just went off to turn it. So it should be nicely done. Pull that out. Ah, it looks lovely. Hope you can see that. Nicely done on that side. We're going to give another uh, uh, three minutes on that side. We'll get that programmed in. And then over here on the other side, I'm going to get my uh, water boiling. In the meantime, uh, we'll take the timer off. We will check the steak on both sides. It looks delightful. I'm going to set it aside over here to rest for a minute. Put the aluminum foil over, keep it nice and warm while it's resting. The water is ready for later. And in the meantime now, we're going to put a little bit more of the olive oil. And we're going to get the savories cooking. In this case, we want the garlic. Uh, first of all, the um, uh, garlic's going in. Love the garlic. And the ginger's going in. And then the... The white parts, or mostly white parts in my case, of the scallions I set aside over here, so we're going to get those started right now. Oh, it's pretty yummy, but I better go stir it. Now I've got the other greens. We're going to get them in, get them wilted a little bit. 
Again, not a food I've cooked with before, but greens are greens, they're good for you. I haven't met a vegetable yet that I really didn't like if it's cooked properly, so um, that's what we're doing here. Okay, I've added in the miso, the demi-glace, the, uh, the uh, soy sauce, and four cups of water. We got it turned up a little bit on high here, so we're getting it all ready to uh, put something together here from a soup base. Looks really good. Smells great. May not have mentioned this earlier, but uh, um, one of the advantages of being the cook is that you also get to uh, pour the wine whenever you want to. So we'll just have a little bit of that Chianti sitting there while we get that water boiling. Mmm, that's not bad. See, this is the way to come home from work. You have some cooking, glass of wine, feel relaxed, the cares of the day go away. You know, not everybody may feel that way about cooking, but you know, for me, I just think it's wonderful. We just put in those lovely noodles over in, uh, in that pot. Uh, those are not your normal ramen noodles from the, uh, you know, five for a dollar bin, but something lovely. We've got the broth brewing up nicely here. It's nice and dissolved. In fact, I'm going to turn that down let that simmer a little bit. I'm going to turn that pot down before, well, it boiled over slightly, but as you can see, it recovers very quickly on an induction stove like this. I love it. Okay, we're going to do the last bit of assembly. Um, I'm going to bring the pot over so it's on the camera. I'm going to bring those noodles. I'm going to stir those in nicely. Oh, that's just going to be great. I need my spoon. So there's those noodles that go into the pot. Does that look lovely or what? Oh my gosh, that's just good stuff. Okay, so we got our veggies, we got our noodles. We got our beef, not as a main particularly, but it's kind of the accent. That's how I like to use meat, and uh, Blue Apron's a fan of that also. I'll pour the juice in because it tastes great. I'll pull out the steak. More juice. And we're going to slice this in nice thin slices. I got my little knife. We're going to put some of the noodles in there in one of these pots. Ah, there we go. That looks lovely. More noodles in the other pot. In the other bowl. Let's see if we can get this to come out even a little bit. Not bad. Not bad at all. that look lovely or what? That's just great. I'm going to pour the broth in. Get that out of the way. Get the rest of the broth in just a minute. Some enoki mushrooms on both sides here. Put those in neatly. Put those on there. Plate up the, the beef. And some scallions left for the top. Oh my. Now that is not the ramen we had when we were in college. This is something great and grand and glorious. So, but It's time to eat. As we say in Japan, eat the dakimasu. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you.